Tony Messenger on assignment in Colorado. I wonder what that assignment is. <laughs> Research. <laughs> yep. Yes. And he's not um, Skyping in, so you wonder. They're uh, loaded. They're locked and loaded, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, John Deal is the House Majority Leader. He is Speaker of the House in waiting. Good morning, John Deal. Good morning, McGraw. Tony Messenger is out. Jay Kanzler is uh, all around gadfly, local attorney. Good morning, Jay Kanzler. Uh, apartment uh, Majority Leader is what I am. You're, what are you? The apartment majority <laughs> the leader. The apartment ah. majority leader. He's the majority leader of his, um, not of the house, because your wife's running yeah, that show. No, yeah, I, just my little apartment. All right, there you go. And then um, former chief of staff of Governor Holden, uh, attorney and local gadfly and um, rabble rouser, Jane Duker. <laughs> Good morning, Jane Duker. Good morning. We're going to start with you, uh, John Deal. Red light cameras um, have been much talked about. Lots of going on uh, recently and some legislation being talked about and working through the system down in Jefferson City. What's going on with the red light cameras? Right. Actually, you know, we took a vote on that yesterday in the House to pass a bill. It's actually the closest vote of the year. It was, I think, 84 votes. and You need 82 to, to pass a bill. And it's, it's, a, it's a difficult issue to work through because uh, and, and it's almost, um, you know, the inverse of what you want on how the vote worked. Um, I, I, for one, think we should limit red light cameras. I don't really like them. I think they should be used in very, very rare circumstances. Uh, the problem that we have in this state, and particularly in this region and, and, and somewhat in Kansas City, is that the red light cameras are, 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 are here, uh, but there are no laws to try to put parameters on how they can be used. So if you're driving, like, let's say, down natural you know, Natural Bridge Road, right. you, you can drive through eight different municipalities in a matter of a mile and a half that could have eight different sets of rules. So you know, what we attempted to do is, I, I don't think we could probably get a ban through the General Assembly. So what we attempted to do is say, if there are going to be them, be some out there, that there be rules on some analysis by MoDOT as to where they can go. Uh, there ought to be a cap on, on what can be charged for them. And and, and, and most importantly, that there can be no points assessed against a person's driver's license for them, that the person has the right to go to court right. and all those sorts of things to, to, to challenge what's going to happen. So I think in a perfect world that you try to get rid of them as most of you can, but you know, given that that's probably not an option in the current environment, we wanted to make sure that we could rein them in. And, and put the right parameters around them. Does that go far enough, or do you, should it be more? Because right now there is no recourse into those scofflaw people like myself who have gotten five of them and refuse to pay them, don't pay them, no points on my license, my insurance doesn't go up, my the fine doesn't go up, it's still $100. Um, what's the recourse if somebody chooses to pay and somebody chooses not to pay? Well, I think I, I can answer this Yes, one. yes, Jane um, Duker, we yield for comment. So, yeah, I yield. Do you yield? Uh, I, I yield. Thank Go you. Ahead. So um, anyway, I think I think the the good thing here is is I think once points are off the table because it's already obvious that that these cameras work without points, mm -hmm. um, and so that that's good news. And I think once that happens, like for example in Kansas City and St. Louis, um, there's flag the tag. So if you don't pay these, um, the cities haven't elected to use it, but those cities have the ability to flag the tag so that you can't get your license plates renewed if you have violations that you haven't paid. Mm -hmm. Not just red light cameras, but all kinds. Right. Um, and I think that um, a lot of other cities have, not that you get a warrant because you got a red light camera, but because you've ignored a court citation to come to court and either contest right. it or pay it. And I think if people know, and I think, you know, and, and people have the right to do that now. The city has decided not to do that right now. But I think if a lot of this stuff gets settled, and you know there's no points, and it's merely a fine. One, they can get a warrant to say you have to come in. Or, frankly, they can go after you civilly and say, you know, this is a civil debt. You need to pay it, and, and they can send it out to collections, which the city hasn't done um, fully for everything yet, but, but, but they have the ability to. Can, can you write in the law that the city of St. Louis has to use a St. Louis company? They're using a company out of Dallas, Texas. Why would they go to Dallas, well, Texas? Why not use a St. Louis company? I mean, that, that is Missouri interesting. Company. Well, they do have an ordinance on a Missouri preference. So you probably have to look at the RFP to see if there was a St. Louis group that could do what this company is doing. Um, I mean, I think what the city did was wanted to consolidate 
um, all of their collection efforts on all of their municipal violations. And so that wasn't red light cam- I'm, camera I'm driven. I'm sure we could find a St. Louis company to send a scary, threatening letter. Maybe. I mean, <laughs> maybe. And, it, you know, so I don't know how that was necessarily handled. But, yeah, I mean, it would be nice. But, 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 but back to the state bill, I, yeah. I think what's important here is that I, when, when, you, when well, you have the standards, and when you've got MoDOT that's going to have to approve those with certain data behind them, I think you're going to see the don't number of red light. Like they actually have but, to but, say okay. yes or no. You're, you're going to see the number of these things decrease dramatically. Why shouldn't, if I go through a red light, it's a moving violation, why shouldn't I get points on my license? That's I'm breaking the law. I'm showing I'm a bad driver. Why shouldn't I get points? That's because you'd, suspend- you'd be suspended <laughs> right now. Right. And, and the other thing to is, too, if points worked, then people would already have stopped doing it. The red light cameras show that people who get other than you, people who get red light camera tickets, if they get one, there's an 85 to 90 percent chance that they're not going to do it again. So the point system isn't working. And I think that Missouri has always been based on if you have a local issue that you think you can do something creative and additional rules of the road in order to reach safety benefits that you're not getting, then go do that. And I think that's what's being litigated. But and I think what the good thing about the bill is it still balances local control with some standards. And so now you can, as a local way, do additional rules of the road in, in, in automated enforcement, but you have to do it in a way that's, you know, that's not crazy, that's it's needed, it has standards, and everybody plays by the same rules. Right. If it's going to be sure. out there, it needs to be rare. Right. Why, why, doesn't, why, don't, why won't people just be intellectually honest here, and, you know, not at this table, but out there in this debate, and just say that this is about raising revenue? It has nothing, nothing to do with an overall safety uh, increase. The Except people, the people, th- it, it, the people that are actually running red lights and smashing into other people are not concerned about uh, red light cameras. The, it, that's not going to stop. W- who is getting hurt is the people that are on their way to drop off their kids at school that are late for a meeting and kind of maybe roll through a right hand on red turn. And that just costs them $135. Where does this stop? Okay, we can go with the red light cameras. We can go with the red light or the stop sign cameras. Speed maybe cameras, s- speed, right, maybe right. seat belt cameras. Um, texting cameras. Texting cameras. Re- uh, your, your car, your registration, your car is expired. All the technology is out there. Mm-hmm. So why? Well, this but, is revenue, revenue, that, revenue, and just be intellectually but, honest and right. admit it. No, and, and I, I completely agree with you. And that, that's what this is designed to stop that's with some mean. objective standards on this is that, is that you just can't put them up everywhere. You have to show that there actually is a safety concern right. at an intersection. with. And this is real data. Like, it's on camera. So you can show. And, and, and the good thing is, is this is verifiable. And MoDOT has set up good standards to say that, you know, here's the, the number of reductions you need to see, the accidents. I mean, you have real data as to violations going down and, and, and more dangerous accidents going if, down. If a, I mean, bank, if a bank is being robbed and the red light camera has video of it, can you use the red light camera video to show the bank being robbed? Well, if it's on a public thoroughfare, I mean, having cameras, watching people in the public is completely constitutional and completely legal. So okay. it happens now. I mean, you go to an ATM and you're on camera. I understand that. So, I mean, and they it, could film things going on behind you that could be used as evidence. Okay, so there's no problem with using this no. video. In fact, it has it has helped solve other crimes when, you know, in the city and other places where crimes have happened and they've been able to look at the traffic cameras and figure out that someone either lied about where they were or they were able to place them somewhere. And what about, so what there's about other the, law What about benefits. the uniformity in St. Peter's? They take a picture of the person driving. Right. Almost everywhere else, they take a picture of the license plate. Any uniformity a discussion going on down Correct. Yeah, the, City? This bill requires a picture of the person. Oh, beautiful. Do we have any problem with that? No, I, I don't know that there's a problem. I think it does decrease the um, the actual number of violations, and it, it does it doesn't believe it or not, it doesn't provide the safety benefit that just taking a picture of the plate does. Why? Well, because one um, violations because you can't always match people duck, people obscure their faces. Believe it or not, people duck well, you, to go through, you, you, which is insane. <laughs> I, I I mean, you have to watch the video to believe that. I mean, and it's those dumb people and are not obviously those are the people running the red lights that are causing the accidents in my mind. Ducking yeah. to avoid a hundred bucks. Nice. This isn't going to stop you. You can have a you know the, short of uh, those uh, tire spikes. They're going to continue to run the red lights. But well, then the, why outlaw murder? Because well, people are well, mur- well, going to well, murder they, anyway. There are also there are because also, it's not 
costing me a hundred dollars. Oh, it's because, costing you millions in appeals no, and everything else. No, it's costing me not a hundred dollars when I make a right turn on red and maybe don't come to a two second full stop. Yeah, it, just don't break the law. It's real uh, simple. However, but but there are products out there where you can paint on your license plate that obscures it from the the red light camera. Well, they've sort of figured out that those don't work. Well, I don't know. Well, and, anyway. it, and it's illegal. I mean, if you if you do anything to obscure well, so your license plate, well, so is ducking play. and so is exactly. putting a book in front of your face. And but I'm just else. telling you, or the newspaper. statistics, the, or newspaper. the statistics don't or lie. Laptop. The more the people, the more people who committed a violation who actually get the citation and pay the money. Money seems to be more of a deterrent than points. My, it's reality. My point has always been: if you take a picture of the person. I think I, that's all constitutional. And you want and you want face recognition software now to start really looking at Big Brother. I mean, yeah, if I, we're gonna I, do it, if we're gonna do it in the uh, safety li- goes down. If we're gonna do it in the um, airports, why not do it? Uh, why not do it for the cameras? Have you ever watch Person of Interest where they have all the you, face recognition? You know, and you, that's, know. you know that's a TV show. No, I think well now that's what you want is everybody to be watched and facial recognition, and we all know. Just just as, all right, we're done. <laughs> Moving right along. Yeah, I, that's say, I don't Cam- know about that. Jane Duker, Jay Kanzler, uh, John Deal. Back in a moment, the morning meeting. The I'm sorry, where did that come from? Whoa, that's a that's the Whoa. wrong file. Wow, that is. A, we've, that is we've jumped the shark. I need a reboot. Holy <laughs> mackerel! That is that's the board meeting. This is the board meeting. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're in the middle.